This video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. Okay, we're looking at a Linux Signature Series Air Handler. CBX 32MV 24 slash 30. Variable speed, good for two to two and a half tons. We have a whole house filter, five inch media. Uh, you can see they've had quite a bit of uh, water issues. This air handler's in a very tight spot. The drain trap is here, which I've unclogged. Actually, that's not a trap. And uh, it's a scutter hole, it's a foam house. Um, she actually had to have this, there was all kind of plumbing pipe run in front of this air handler last time I was here. I couldn't even get to it. She had to have a plumber come out and redo all that just for me to get access to this unit. And they had to have decking put in because there was no decking. It was really, really hard to move around up here. Um, so we're gonna open it up right now and check it for a refrigerant leak. We have our leak detector warming up. It had, the coil's been replaced. It has a black epoxy painted coil, but it does not look good. I'm willing to bet that this thing is leaking. It's all propped up over here. I hope y'all can see. Oh Lord, the leak detector's already going crazy.
It's there and uh, they've had to add refrigerant to it so <clears throat> it's a slow one but and the air handler is just it's not in good condition at all Let's see what year this is a 2011 so it, it might have some warranty on it well, we're gonna find out I mean look at the secondary pan <coughs> <coughs> This, this would be one hell of an air handler change out. We'll see which way they want to go with, but I mean, I can't do just the air handler. I mean, with a two-stage system, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mismatch a two-stage. I'm just not gonna do it. So unless they want to change the whole system, it'd be a coil only. Hey guys. I want to give a little insight on this uh, call here. There was a few things that I was unaware of. So I had been to this house previously and for a no cooling call, and it was the drain that was stopped up on that same air handler. There's two other systems in the house, and they're fine. I unstopped the drain, and at that time they proceeded to tell me, you know, hey, you know, we've had to, We've had to add refrigerant to this unit, you know, a couple times. It's uh, it's had a coil replaced already. Now, you could see where the previous heating and air company, well, you can't see in the video because it's gone now, but at the other time, I could see where the previous heating and air company had taken the plumbing vents and cut them with a Sawzall and taped them back together with mastic tape. And it was running right in front of the air handler. And there was no decking in the attic. And this thing is, you know, it's... it's. Now that there's decking, it's not bad, but you got to go through a scutter hole. And... um. But the main thing was the pipe. I mean, I couldn't even get the door off. And I told her, I said, ma'am, I said, I, I can't even get the door off you know, with the plumbing pipe. And I told her about what the other company did and blah, blah, blah. And, and she said, okay, I'll take care of it. So she called me back and said that she had the plumbing pipe taken care of. It was no longer an obstruction. And she also had decking put in the attic. I said, Hey, great. So we went back and we found the leak. You saw the video. It, it, we picked up a couple small leaks but they are there um they're small but they're there now i was under the impression that this was a foam house at construction well she cleared that up for me and i was wrong it is in no way shape or form a foam house from construction so that means the walls are not foamed or anything like that. They just did that after the fact when they bought the house. So it is not a true foam house. Now this air handler is in pretty rough shape for its age. 
and it's mainly due to water damage, uh, p- poor drainage. I mean, you saw the condition of the air handler, and you saw the condition of the secondary pan. You can see that that water has been sitting in both of those for quite a while. She was very confident that the unit was still in warranty, and I was too, and we were both correct. After making a phone call to Linux, the unit is still very much in warranty until 2021. The bad thing is is that I asked Linux if, if the replacement coil would be copper, and they said no. I, I'm sorry, if it would be aluminum, and they said no. It would be another copper tubed coil. And this one would not even have the black epoxy paint on it. After telling the customer that, I called her back and him. They're pretty, they're sharp people. They're not stupid. They have asked me to work up a quote. When now, if you remember in the video, I said that I would like to change just the air handler only, but I wasn't going to do that on a two-stage system. Again, that was me assuming that they had two-stage outdoor equipment. And before I brought that up to her, you know, I said, well, you know what? Let me go take a look at the outdoor units. You know, maybe it you never know. So I asked her where they were, and she said, they're right there on the left side of the house. They're all three sitting together. I said, okay. All three of them are Linux Elite 14 Seer. So they are not two stage, but they're using variable speed blowers, variable speed air handlers, which on a 14 Seer to me is makes no sense whatsoever. But, you know, it can be done, but to me it's stupid. I mean, so the good news is, is that I can replace just the air handler. And you might say, well, why would you want to replace an air handler that's in warranty? Normally, I would never even suggest that. But because of the condition of this air handler, I just, and the fact that Linux, you know, has major issues with their their copper coils leaking, I think it's better off to put a new air handler with an aluminum coil and a fresh warranty. Now, the Knitters are lovely. They're in fantastic shape. And, you know, they asked me to quote that option because they said that since they would be getting another copper coil, they would like that option quoted to them. So I've done that, and I'm waiting to hear back. I have told them, you know, you'll pay my labor. I'll install the warranty coil, no problem. Or here's a price for a new three-ton air handler. The condensers are two and a half ton. I'm going to go with the three-ton air handler. When I have half tonnage systems, I like to go up a half a ton on the indoor unit. So, for example, a two and a half ton unit, I like to go with a three-ton air handler. A three and a half ton condenser, I like to go with a four ton. To me, it just it dehumidifies a little better. They use the same expansion valve. Same, I mean, they're pretty much the same air handler, but you got a little bit more. You got a little bigger coil on the three ton, so it'll dehumidify a little better. Um, and also make it a little more efficient. So I quoted a three ton air handler, or. They can let me change the warranty coil. It's in their hands now. But I wanted to give you guys uh, some some feedback on this uh, on this job here because there were some things in the video that I said that I was unclear. I just wasn't clear about. And, you know, I said that I would not change an air handler on a two-stage system, which I wouldn't do. Well, I mean, unless I could go back with another Linux. But... Linux is not going to sell me their uh, high-end equipment because I'm not a dealer. Uh, but the fact that they're using 14 sear condensers, I'm very comfortable putting a ream air handler on that job. 
So we'll find out what the customer wants to do. And uh, that's it. I just thought I'd clarify some of that stuff. Okay, thank you all for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.